Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to find allelic frequencies and here is a problem. In a given population only uh, the A and B alleles are present in the ABO blood system. Uh, there are no individuals with type O blood or with O alleles. If 200 people have type A blood, 75 have uh, type AB blood and 25 have um, type B blood, what are the uh, allelic frequencies of this population? And if you know how to solve this problem, you may stop video here, uh, try to solve this problem on your own, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. First of all, I want to remind you what uh, kind of uh, uh, genotypes make uh, this uh, blood groups so total number normal total number of blood groups would be four and the first one would be uh, blood group a so phenotype a can be made by two uh, genotypes first one would be a a and the second one would be a o but because we don't have blood group uh, we don't have uh, allele O, so we can cross out uh, this uh, blood group. And uh, the second uh, phenotype can be B, blood group B, and it can be made by two genotypes, B, B, and B, O. Once again, because in our example, uh, this gene pool doesn't have uh, or alleles, we can cross out this genotype, and also third uh, phenotype can be A, B, that can be made by only one genotype A, B. And the last uh, phenotype O can be made by only one uh, genotype that is O, O. And we completely don't have this blood group here in our example because we don't have allele O. So we left with only three uh, variants. Uh, here is the first one, here is the second one, and here is the third one. So uh, this even makes all the calculations even easier. So uh, first of all we have uh, 200 people that has uh, type A blood, so 200 people, and that means that um, each person out of those 200 people would have this genotype. So each person would have two alleles A. So we have to multiply 200 by 2. So the total number of alleles A would be uh, 400 uh, uh, for those people whose genotype would be uh, AA. Also we have um, 75 people whose uh, genotype AB and phenotype AB. So we have 75 people. And that means that uh, they have uh, 75 alleles A plus 75 alleles B. And this is uh, phenotype AB. So right now we are interested only uh, to find uh, number of alleles A. So the total number of alleles A would be 75 that is present in phenotype AB and uh, 400 that is present in phenotype uh, A and genotype AA. So uh, this is going to be uh, 475 alleles A and we have to divide this number by the total number of alleles. And once again, total number of alleles would be 2 multiplied by 200. And this is going to be number uh, of alleles A in uh, genotype A, 
a plus 75 alleles a that is going to be present in phenotype in the genotype a b plus 75 um, alleles b that is going to be present uh, in the same uh, phenotype and genotype a b and plus we also have uh, 25 uh, people uh, that belongs to the blood group b so 25 people would have 50 uh, 50 alleles that is uh, going to be B alleles so uh, this is going to be our total number so uh, we have to uh, we have to divide 475 by and let's calculate here we have 400 plus 150 this is going to be 550 plus 50 uh, total number 600 so 475 we have to divide by um, 600 and this uh, going to be total number of alleles in this gene pool and this is going to be uh, total number of alleles a so when we find a uh, total number of alleles A, uh, we are going to find it, uh, if we divide by total number of alleles, we are going to find the frequency of the alleles A in this gene pool. And this is going to be 0 0.792, and this is going to be a frequency of the allele A and frequency of the allele B we can easily find we just have to um, deduct from 1 this uh, frequency 0 0.792 so uh, the frequency of the allele B would be uh, 0 point two hundred eight and this is going to be a frequency of the allele B so here is the two frequencies this is frequency of the allele A in this gene pool and this is frequency of the allele B in this gene pool also we can give an answer as percentage so we just have to multiply both numbers by 100 because we got our answer on the scale between 0 and 1 but we also can give uh, an answer on the scale between 0 and 100 so we just have to multiply by 100 or move this decimal point two places to the right so uh, frequency of the little b would be 20.8 and frequency of the allele a would be 79.2 percent so we can give uh, our answer uh, in percentage form as well it's easy just multiply by 100 and this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your questions comments if you have any and goodbye see you in the next video